where if you find it exciting, but I think we will. And this is with equations. Actually, it's more like story problems. Story problems. And guess what? Guess what? This is going to be an earth-shattering revelation to all of you. When you find yourself, well, let's write down a problem. Three tickets cost $20.25. Three tickets cost $25.25. Sorry. I knew there was something goofy there. How much will uh, seven? Tickets cost. Anybody care to speculate what I am going to tell you to do next? I.e., think about yesterday. Because it's really the same spiel. Exactly. Ratio box, proportion box, whatever. Draw, write this in big letters, a ratio, because that's what a proportion is. I'll put slash proportion box. It really makes your life just that much easier. I mean, there's a couple ways to skin this cat, by the way. Logically, you would think to do what? You'd figure, try to figure out how much one ticket costs, right? And then multiply by seven. But that's really what you're doing when you do this. But this just kind of simplifies the whole spiel. And what does your proportion box look like? Just like this. And what should be my labels? The book likes to label it like this, and I think it's fine. You can have case number one, and you can have case number two. And what am I comparing? I am comparing the tickets to dollars. And I know three tickets cost $20.25, and I want to know how much will seven tickets cost. And Carter Westfall says, but, 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 give me that, Carter, will you? But, but, but. No, you have to, you have to go but, but, but. But, but, but. Right, it's all about that. You can't go from three to seven. Well, you can, but you probably don't know what it is and it doesn't work out nicely. So, Tyler says, well, we've got a fix for that. What happens when we can't go from that to that? What do we have to do? Cross multiplication. Cross exactly. Products. Cross products. I'm going to do it up here because apparently I already just saw a little too big. Three over. $20.25 equals 7 over what number? And you remember how to do that? It's called cross products for a reason because you'll go 3 times what number equals 7 times $20.25. And that's a little bit on the ugly side, isn't it? <laughs> Seven times seven twenty-five. Can you do that in your head, Wade? You should be able to do. It. No, in your head. What's the easy way to do that? Seven times twenty is one hundred forty dollars, right? If you have seven quarters, how much money is that? Dollar seventy-five, right? So one hundred forty plus a dollar seventy-five is one hundred forty-one dollars seventy-five cents. Is that what you got when you did it? No. Huh? No. Did I do it wrong? No. Wait, I just did it in my head better than you could do it on paper? Yeah. I feel a little kind of exhausted. And then what are you going to do with that number? You're going to divide by 3. When you divide 141 by 3, you get what? 4 is 12. 21 is 7. What's that? 4725. Again, logically, you would say, uh, logically, you would want to say, well, how much does one ticket cost? Which means you would do what? Divide 3 into $20.25. 
if you do that, you end up with what? 6, 8, 18, 22. It's $6.75 a ticket. You know, and if you're going to do a lot of this, I mean, it'd be goofy if you say, well, then how much would 9 tickets cost? How much would 15 tickets cost? If you're going to do a whole bunch of different cases of it, you might as well figure out how much one costs. Then you can just keep multiplying whatever the number is by one. Ten tickets would cost what? Sixty-seven dollars and fifty cents, right? Yes. This, by the way, is called what? I wouldn't expect you to know this. We call that the unit price. How much for one? Because once you know how much one is, it's pretty easy. You just multiply by how many you have. So this is way number one to do it. You could find unit price and then multiply. Either way, you know, your life is going to be cut short at some point. What? Is that a six? Why not? What do you want it to be? A four? Like now, welcome to my world when people write four, sixes, and nines exactly the same. You know how many times I get that? Yeah. Somebody goes like this. Why what? Is that a nine? Is that a four? It could be a six. Six. <laughs> What? What is that? Let's do another one because Parker is so excited about this. Eight cows eat 200 pounds of something. What are they eating today? 200 pounds of pizza. Eight cows eat 200 pounds of pizza. Uh, how many pounds of hay will 20 cows eat? How many LBs will 20 cows eat? Question mark. And then here you go. You are going to do your little ratio box. It's really, it's probably the simplest way. You're just looking for one answer. This is case number one. Case number two. We are comparing cows to how much they eat. How many pounds? We know eight cows eat 200. So we want to know 20 cows will eat how much? Carter Altenberg, how are we going to have to do this? Um, do 20. <coughs> Somebody? Do 8 over 200. Equals 20 over n, right? Blah, 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 blah. But is there some way you could simplify this process a little bit, Jacob? Product. Yeah, you could, and you will, but you could also, I'm all about making your life a little easier. You know, you know let, well, let's do this. This is what everybody's saying, and I'm, I'm good with this. But you could also, Wade Davis, do what? Yeah, if you look at this, since you know you're going to make a fraction out of it anyway, you could reduce this because it it's going to be an equal fraction. If eight cows eat 200 pounds, then four cows probably eat 100 pounds. And then look, voila, it makes it just as easy. Four times five is 20, and 100 times five is 500. Now, will you get 500 if you sit and do this? Obviously, you get 8n equals 4,000. Divide 4,000 by 8 and guaranteed you're going to get 500. So, I mean, there are some helpful little hints that will save you some time. Right, Carolyn? How about this one? One more. I'm going to let you do this for me. Sinbad can type 135 words in three minutes. Types, what did I say? 135 words in three minutes. One, three, five, three minutes. Uh, how many minutes would it take him to type 450 words? How many minutes to type 450? Get set, go. Do that problem for me. See if you can. I like how large you drew a ratio. Words. Very nice. I like how it depends on what the pages are by as well. Do you use all your pens? Or you you could do it all the pens. Huh? How do you break a pen? No, do I. 
Answers we have. What color have you not used? But I think shade of orange. Curry Westfall, how's the company? Making some progress? Yeah. Carolyn, what'd you come up with? Ten minutes. Do you think that's right? I don't know. Again, you could, by the way, I'm sure this does reduce, but I'm not going to do it that way. I'm just going to do it out. 135 times question mark equals 3 times 450. I'd ask way what 3 times 450 is, but he's not real good at that today. What is that, 1350? Wait. Equals, oh, look at that, 135. And now there's some easy division. 135 goes into 1350 10 times. And that is true. And again, maybe you could have saw, how do I know that 3 goes into 135? What's that rule? Sum of, um, sum of digits. Sum of the digits, yeah. 1 plus 3 plus 5 is 9. So 3 goes into that. So 3, I could make this a 1, divide 3 into that. That's what, 45. Oh, look. 45 times 10, 1 times 10, times 10. I feel we've been highly educated today, or at least I have been.